Hi, I'm Gretchen with The Catholic Company, and we're here today with Father Leo Paddlinghug with GraceBeforeMeals.com. Father Leo, in your book, Grace Before Meals, you talk about how mealtime can be really important for families in developing um, communication and building relationships. How can this translate to the workplace? So if a Catholic um, has a job around lots of other people, how can they bring some of these practices to the workplace to create um, a better environment, build relationships, and have a great time with coworkers? A good relationship with other people requires you to have a good relationship with yourself. But unfortunately, there's even in people a divorce, a, a division of heart. And so I think a good meal helps to mend those two parts of you, you know, for example, you're one way in your church and then you're another way on the basketball court. Well, a meal time gives you a chance to bring them together by having good discussions about it. Another practical thing is, especially for people who eat alone, and we're actually going to be starting, hopefully, a YouTube series about eating for one. Oh, wow. Cooking for one. That's going to be really exciting because at the end of it all, I'm going to teach them how to make just enough for themselves, but they're going to have at the end of the week mm -hmm. enough food to feed two people so that wow. they can invite a friend over because we can't act like golems of the Lord of the Rings and just want to be alone all the time. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case for you, then, then you need help. Mm -hmm. You know, you really need help because we have been built in our very core to be mm -hmm. in communion with other persons. So what I recommend is make sure that your family is talking about good things mm -hmm. and then make a little extra so that you can share it with your, uh, your, your workmates. That is a great idea. Take and bring enough and bring in leftovers for work the next day. And if it's good, you're going to make a friend for life.